One of the features we've added is Hi, I'm James Townley. You may remember me from such films as Ryland's opinion's better than mine. <laughs> Hi backers, it's James Townley again, coming to you from the software side of Peachy's development team. This time around, we've been working a lot more on the software, as is probably expected at this point, and we've made quite a few little changes. And I do say little because uh, most of the pieces we've been working on have been, been those little naggly things that have been bugging us, things like performance, reliability, we've done a lot of work on. In terms of the new features you'll see is we've added a little bit of a monitoring tool to our dripper which allows you to see the frequency of the drips, just to make sure everything is steady and working the way you expect it to see. Uh, we've also added the ability to resume a print. So if for some reason you're halfway through a print and the power goes out or something like that and you are able to catch the dripper, you can then resume from where you left off, specifying a height to resume at in the UI. One of the features we've had right from the beginning is a spiral feature. Now what that does is it takes the start of a layer in the G-code and ignores it and chooses a random place or a spiraled place on that layer to start. This gives it the ability to avoid a very clear seam straight up the side of the print. Uh, we didn't like those seams so we wanted to get rid of them so we introduced that feature. Further to that, in this uh, recent iteration of the software, We've added that spiral uh, and given it a lot more control so you can control that rate of spiral. And we haven't figured out exactly what the best settings for that are, and it may even depend on the print that you're doing, but that spiral feature should be able to give us a lot of control over the quality and the feel of the print when we're done. In using the software, you may have noticed something. It's pretty ugly. And although it's completely usable right now, and we've written it so that the entire underlayer is very firm and, uh, and reliable, that front-end UI is not something we've put a lot of thought into. In fact, as we've been developing, we've been thinking about the best ways to represent that for you, the customers, so that you can use it with the greatest of ease. So in the future, uh, probably after the product is shipped, we're going to be redesigning that UI and making it a lot easier for you to use, a lot more visual information, and a lot more control over what you're doing and a lot more visibility into what the printer's doing in the background. So all of that information already exists, it's just gonna be surfaced in a different, easier to see, easier to understand way with a lot more thought put into that final UI and that interface that you're gonna be using just to make it quick, easy, and very usable. Thanks backers, I hope you're really enjoying these updates and I imagine that about now you're really looking forward to getting your printer. I'd like to let you know that I am really looking forward to you getting your printer as well, because once you have your printer, you're going to be able to do some amazing prints, and I cannot wait to see them. But no problem. <laughs>